all right 12th class we are to discuss the sample paper of term 2 okay is the notepad file visible which i have opened along with the pdf is the notepad file visible all right so here we will uh, do the solution of our paper okay am i clear all right so let us start with the very first question okay uh first question is give two characteristics of stack stack as you know is a data structure that is based on the leaf four technique that is last in first out the element which has been placed in the last at the end will be the first element to be removed okay the element which has been inserted at the end will be the first element to be removed right and the insertion and the deletion it takes place at only one end that is the top top se hi insertion hai top se hi deletion hai right clear so two characteristics of stack are that it is based on leaf four technique second insertion and deletion takes place at top only that is at one end okay am i clear to all all right Now, next question is expand the following. Expand means to write the full form. Expand means to write the full form. So, uh, SMTP, SMTP is simple mail transfer protocol and uh, correspondingly we have the next term xml xml stands for extensible markup language right any doubt in these two questions yes class am i clear with these two questions please all right now the third question says you have been provided with the list of medias you are to pick up fast wired and fast unwired media fast wired media then correspondingly you have to find fast unwired media okay infrared is wireless but is not fast coaxial cable is having uh, is the wired media but if we compare coaxial with twisted pair it is fast but if we compare coaxial with optical fiber it is not so fast in wired media optical fiber is the most fast media in wired media the speed of optical fiber is much more than twisted and your uh, coaxial cable okay but if we compare twisted and coaxial then coaxial is fast okay then we have wireless, obviously microwave, obviously microwave, because we have the option of microwave, ki diye. right? If we have wireless, mein sabse fast dekhe, to that is satellite. But as per the given options in the question, it is microwave, okay? 
Fourth, differentiate between character n, data type, and variable character data type. Right? Character data type is a data type that considers or includes fixed character data, fixed character size data. The number of characters that you can enter here is fixed. And if you enter a small length data, then the gap is filled with the blank spaces. Okay. And some memory, some space is always wasted. Just say, for example, 20 size up ne fix kar diya. Okay. And uh, you have to enter the data of 20 characters, but you enter data of 13 characters. The gap will be filled by the blank spaces. So some space is wasted. But in variable character, the size is not fixed. It is variable. Okay. No blank space is there. And no space is wasted. Panch character ka data hai to panch enter karo. Thus, character ka data hai to thus enter karo. Depend what is the size of your data. Accordingly, it adjusts. It is variable. Right? Fifth. A result set is extracted. Am I clearly audible to everyone up till now? Yes, please. Any doubt? Any questions? A result set is extracted from the database using the cursor object by giving the following statement. My data equal to cursor dot fetch one. Fetch one to hame pata hai. It fetches only one record at a time. Fetch one function is used to fetch one record at a time. How many records will be returned by fetch one method? One record. Naam se bada clear hai. Fetch one, one record at a time. Then B. What will be the data type of my data object after the given command is executed? Whatever results are produced by the fetch one or fetch all, whatever, the data is in the form of tuple. The data is in the form of tuple. Clear? Am I clear to everyone? The data is in the form of tuple. All right. Now, moving to the fifth question, write the output of queries A to D based on the table given. All right. Uh, we have FID, we have name, we have date of purchase, we have cost and we have discount. First entry. Uh, select sum of discount from furniture where cost is more than 15,000. Pele to aap ye dekho 15,000 se zada cost kaha pe 45,000, 51,000, 22,000, and 28,000. Okay. Wherever the cost is more than 15,000, you are to find the sum of the discount, corresponding discount. 45 ke discount ke 10. 
it will be sum of 10 plus 5 plus 0 plus 14. How many are having doubt in this that how this has come? Anyone having doubt? Cost ko compare karo. Yes, Sanvinder. Sir, please repeat it. Just uh, don't uh, mute yourself, okay? Remain unmuted. Yes. You are to find the sum of the discount column, okay? But you yes, are sir. to you are to find the sum for those entries where cost is more than 15,000. 15,000 se zyada cost honi chahiye. Condition ye hai. To pehli to ye ho gai. And sir. Iske discount kitna hai? 10. 10. Likh diya 10 yaha pe. Uske baad 51,000 is there. Yes sir. What is the discount? 5. 5. Then 22,000 again more than 15,000. Core correspond, yes. corresponding discount is 0. Yes sir. Then 12 is not in the condition. 15 is not in the condition because the examiner has said more than 15,000. Examiner ne yeh ka more than equal to 15,000. Okay sir. Then 28,000, 14. Ab in sab ko add kar lo. What is the result? 29. 29 is the answer. Yes. And how to write it? You have to write like this. Sum bracket discount 29 am i clear sanvinder now yes sir. now you can mute yourself all right select maximum date of purchase Ab ye to mujhe aap bataoge. please all of you participate in the discussion and raise your hand for the answers. And it is very good if you all keep a rough notebook in front of you so that I am writing answers on the notepad. Parallel, you also solve the paper on your rough notebook. So all of you keep a notebook in front of you. And uh, anyone who would like to share the answer of second part, you are to find the maximum date of purchase from furniture. 12th class, I really don't know why always Malik, Sanvinder and Abhishek, every time they raise their hand, why not other participate? You're also going to appear for your pre-boards. Yes, Anmol, unmute yourself. Good morning, sir. Very good morning, Anmol. Uh, sir, maximum date of purchase is 19 July 2021. Yeah, but obvious. So it is max. date of purchase it is uh, 19 july 2021 date ka kabhi bhi confusion ho to keep one thing in mind first of all check the year if year are same, then go with the month. If month are same, then go with the date. Okay. Am I clear? How to check the date if any condition comes corresponding to date. All right. Moving to the C part. Select star from furniture. Star means detail. Here we are to give the detail. Where discount is more than 5. Okay. Discount is more than 5. So 10 ho gaya, 12 ho gaya, 14 ho gaya. 10, 12, 14. And, and condition says, both conditions should be true. And FID like T percent. FID like T percent. T से शुरू हो अगले जितने मर्जी कैरेक्टर हो एक तो ये हो गया T010 पर डिस्काउंट कितना है 5 एंड व्हाट एग्जामिनर इज सेइंग 
more than five. So we can't take this. Can we take this? Can we have this statement? No, we can't. Because the first condition fails. And operator says both condition must be true. Then T. T006. Discount is more than five. Yes. This will be our result. Uh, this. So we are to write here T006 followed by console table. Sorry. Console table followed by 17th November 2019 followed by 15,000 followed by 12. Okay. Got it all of you. So this is our command. All right. D part. Select date of purchase from furniture. Oh. Select date of purchase from furniture where name in dining table, console table. What is the meaning of this command? Who will tell? Anyone? This means that the child is reading in the house. If someone tells me the Same hand. Always same hand. Yes, Malik. Date of purchase will be shown of the record whose name is dining table or console table. Haan. Haan. Ya dining table naam ho ya console table naam ho. Theek hai? So dining table is uh, 10th March 2020. And uh, console table 17th November 2019. Okay. So this was our sixth question. Now moving to the, oh, sorry, this was the fifth question. I think I have uh, changed the serial number. Anyhow, no problem. Going with the sixth question, first part. Which command is used to view the list of tables in database? Which command is used to view the list of tables in database. Yes. Who will like to discuss this? Abhishek. Yes, Abhishek. Come with your answer. Sir, show tables. Show tables. Very right. Show tables. Okay. Uh, the second part of your uh, sixth question is one difference between equi join and natural join. Equi join is a join that is used for comparison. Okay, mainly used for comparison. Right? Okay, that checks the equality. It checks the equality. And they the equality, the comparison is done because there is one column which is common in both the tables and duplicate columns are shown. If, if there are a column with the same name, duplicate columns are shown in this. Then natural join is a join in which if there are two identical columns, they are not repeated. It is shown only once. Two identical columns appear only once. No duplicacy is there. Okay. Clear? Seventh. Consider the table's movie details. Okay. So this is seventh question A part. I just lift it bit up. All right. Identify the degree and the cardinality of the table. Degree is the number of attributes that is five and cardinality. 
cardinality will be your one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Cardinality means number of rows. Okay. Which field should be made the primary key? The B part of the question is which field must be made the primary key? Movie ID. Why? Whenever you are to give the reason for the primary key, two conditions must be given in the reason. It does not have duplicate values. Secondly, you will say it does not contain null value. Two conditions aapko clear cut patani hai. It does not have duplicate values. It does not contain any null value. Primary key ki ye do conditions hoti hai. Thik hai? Then internal choice is there or internal choice matlab seventh question ya ye wala attempt karo or attempt this. Any one from the two. Now in this question a part is identify the candidate keys from the table. Candidate keys are the group of all keys, all combination of keys which are capable of becoming primary key. Which are capable of becoming primary key. Jo keys primary key banne ke capable hai, un sab ka combination that is the candidate key. Okay. Identify the candidate key from the table. We are to find the combination of columns that can act as candidate key. Yes, please. One will be movie ID. Kyunki isme na to duplicate hai, na isme koi null value hai. Title. Title of the movie, no title is same. So title can also be your primary key. Oh, sorry, candidate key. Language, Hindi, English, Hindi, English, repeated. Rating, 5, 4, 3, 4, repeated. Platform, Netflix, Hotstar, Hotstar, repeated. Z5, repeated. So these two keys are having the good combination for candidate keys. Am I clear? Okay. Then uh, moving further, consider the schedule table below. It's a B part. What, which field will be considered as the foreign key? Foreign key, I told you earlier also, Ek aisi ki jiske andar jo values hai, they are being taken from the primary key of another table. Foreign key is a key whose value has been taken from primary key of another table. Kisi or table ke primary key se values li gai hai, and that column act as foreign key in the current table, but it is primary key in the master table, in the parent table. For example, A table has primary key E code. B table has taken the values from E code and has given the name EN. E number. B table has created one column E number and values of E number are taken from E code. Iski apni koi values nahi hai. Isne apni values A table ke E code se li hai. So in the A table, E code is the primary key. That is the parent table. But in the table itself, it will act as foreign key.
एम आई क्लियर सो अकॉर्डिंग टू यू विच इज द फॉरन की मूवी आई डी मूवी आई डी इज द मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट फॉरन की राइट now eighth question julie has created a dictionary containing names and marks as a key value pair of six students write a program which separate user defined functions to perform the following operations push the keys of the dictionary into stack where corresponding value is greater than 75 okay pop and display the content of the stack what is the main meaning of the question aap ek dictionary banao jisme bachcho ke naam hai and their marks okay then all those students whose marks are above 70 more than equal to 75 transfer them to a stack unka ek stack bana lo jin bachon ke marks 75 se zyada or equal to 75 transfer their name in a stack means you have to create a stack of names but marks should be more than equal to 75 one thing this you are to do second thing you are to show the pop operation pehle elements push karwao insert karwao then finally you get the element pop right i hope the question main meaning is clear to everyone so for this question i would like to uh, open the python right I just open the Python program. I have made it over here. Thirty-first. Yeah, this is the question. Please, all of you, see here carefully. Uh, read the question. Examiner is saying, make two separate functions. Iska separate function banao. इसका सेपरेट फंक्शन बनाओ यू आर टू मेक टू फंक्शन टू शो द पुश एंड द पॉप ऑपरेशन इन द स्टैक पुश फंक्शन पुश द कीज दैट इज द नेम ऑफ द चाइल्ड ऑफ डिक्शनरी इन टू स्टैक वे आर कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग मार्क्स इज ग्रेटर देन सेवेंटी फाइव ओके आपके पास की वैल्यू पेयर है और जिस की वैल्यू पेयर में बच्चे के मार्क्स 75 से ज्यादा हैं, उस बच्चे का नाम यू ट्रांसफर टू द स्टैक ओके एंड स्टैक इन पाइथन इज इंप्लीमेंटेड एज लिस्ट स्टैक इन पाइथन इज इंप्लीमेंटेड एज लिस्ट सो लेट अस डू दिस प्रोग्राम आई आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ डिक्शनरी केयरफुली गो थ्रू इट i have created a dictionary where i have taken the key value pairs okay i have taken the key value pairs a 70 b 80 c 60 d 75 e 55 f 90 g 50 so these are the six students aur ye unke marks hain and the name of dictionary is d then i have taken a list l which is the empty list in the beginning list in uh, stack in python is implemented as a list so l 
is acting as a stack in python now run the for loop for the dictionary for x in d x in d means x refers to each key one by one all keys will be assigned to x pehle x ki value kya hogi a then x will be b then c then d then e then f and then g okay got it these these names of the student will be point by the x x refers to each name of the child if d of x d of x means value d of a what is x a d of a means value 70 if 70 more than 75 condition true no so it will not work next x is b x ho gaya b d of x 80 80 more than 75 yes push function call karo yahan pe function call hoga push function call kiya what you have passed in the push function the name of the stack and the key x is key the name of the child jis bacche ke marks 75 se zyada hain us bacche ka naam x hai so the list and the name of the child has been passed as parameter to the push function and we have called the push function invoke or call push function then we go to the push function here l and n are formal parameter l and x are actual parameter list ke andar append karwa do list ke andar n ko append kara do n is the name of the child who satisfies this condition okay so in order to insert element in the stack in order to add element in the stack we use append method of list am i clear so one by one all the student names who satisfy this condition they will enter in the list uh, stack l they will enter in a stack l am i clear to all up till here all right